Hey everybody, this is James from Sonic Alchemy and Makerspace, going where creativity takes us. Today we're going to talk a little bit about some new filament I had a chance to try out. What I tried, they were about 50 millimeter, uh, 50 meter rolls of uh, their metallic PETG. So these were samples. They were packed really well. They uh, came with a data sheet. So they're saying the diameter tolerance is 0 0.05 millimeters, plus or minus 5%. Uh, the print temperature in the range of 210 to 250. Let's see what else. Uh, for diameter, 1.75. So let's have a look at the filament, what I printed, talk a little bit about it. I wanna say, I am giving you my opinion about the filament that I received and about the prints that I did on my printer. Your results may vary depending on your printer. Six amazing samples of their metallic PETG. We've got a pearl, a green a graphite, a rose and a blue. So let's see. This is the rose, and I printed a little couple of little boxes. So these are little tubes. You can just pop them open and close them up. Put what you want in there. And with the gold, printed a ring here. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but the outer ring turns. Inner stays still. Yeah, really nice. This is in there gold, metallic. Then uh, we have the blue metallic, same kind of ring, spins. Printed the same thing in PLA and it didn't spin very well. So, comparison. Then I printed this really nice face. This thing is just really, really beautiful. And finally, to test, printed out this new Millennium Falcon, uh, X-Wing. X-Wing, Star Wars boy. And this is printed out in the gold. It's split here and it switched to the blue. So it's a two color, really, really nice. So that's the Hertz filament metallic PDG that I had a look at there. Uh, let's talk about it, what I thought. Uh, like most PETGs, it does tend to string. You're gonna have to deal with that however you can. And the way I do it usually is, um, I use Kira 3.3 and I've enabled the, in the experimental settings, the make uh, bridges printable. That does help, it will slow down the print at bridges. It will um, tweak it. So that helps with some bridging factors, tweaking your retraction settings. I've been uh, tweaking the, the speed, the how much uh, filament's retracted. That all helps. The other thing that really helps with PETG, especially in the more economic printers, or most printers, is printing slower so you're definitely going to want to print slower than your 60 millimeter and um, if i the other thing is a little finicky with temperature i did try to print some of it at 230 through um, a 3d pen printing pen and at 230 through the 3d printing pen it was a little bit finicky I was printing it on my hot end, on my printer, through at 2.30 on the hotbed. And the way I do that, the way I figure out what to uh, print at, is I'll raise the, uh, the x-axis up, put the carriage in the middle. I will take it up to whatever the middle of the recommendation is, the hot end. And then by hand, I'll try to push some filament through and see how it comes out. If it comes out relatively easy, but not 
super easy, you know you're starting to be in the sweet zone. And then I'll do a couple of small prints to test it out, make sure fine tune a little bit. If it see it gets a little smushy or a little uh, not so nice, uh, then I will tweak the temperature a little bit till I'm happy with it. So for my printer, 230 on the hot end was what works. These are my opinions about this filament uh, based on my printer. You have to have a look and see what what it's like with your printer. But for me, this printer, this setup today, I'm really happy. I want to thank Michael and everybody at Harris 3D for sending over the samples and I'm looking forward to what's coming next. So thanks everybody. Appreciate it. If you're interested, there will be a link for Hertz 3D filament down below. And keep going where the creativity takes you. And I'll see you in the next one.